Yeah. Mm. Yes. They said these things. Srimad Bhagavad Gita, in the essence of Veda, Gita Upanishad. Upanishad is the topmost portion of Veda. Please with Misha. You understand? And Srimad Bhagavad Gita is also one of the Upanishads. Gita Upanishad. You understand? This is Gita Upanishad. It's one of the Upanishads. It's the sense of all Veda. And it has come out from the lips of Krishna. Supreme Personal God came out from the lips. Vedas then will come out from the breathing of the Supreme Person. Persona. You understand? And it has come out from the lips. Oh. So it is a sense of all Vedas. The most, one of the famous Upanishads, Gita Upanishad. And it has come out from the lips. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. No question. No. no. I am somewhat sick, so my dull mind is even more dull today. Which <laughs> sickness? Some? Yes. Hot and cold. No. <laughs> Little body. First hindrance. Metal body is first hindrance. Isn't it? The spiritual attainment gives so much trouble. Huh? So much trouble. But still, we are running into it. How to get one after another this metal body, which gives so much trouble. Huh? Still, we saw it as. We don't want to leave it. We don't want to be completely free from this. And though it gives so much trouble to us. Kresada asade ho. Rishabh Dev says this thing. Fifth canto. Srimad Bhav. Kresada asade ho. No sadhu manne. Isn't it? No sadhu manne. Then Atma like him. Kresada asade ho. This is not loaded at all. It's not sad from that. Sad way. Not defeating a gentleman. <laughs> not defeating for any gentleman. Sad. I think so. One day I think that the body that gives so much trouble, still we get it one after another. We act in such a way that we get one after another. This body, little boy. Gives so much trouble. Place of Asadi. Parabhavatabha. Parabhavatabha. Javarna. Jigyasta Atma Tattam. Isn't it? Javarna Jigyasta Atma Tattam. Parabhavatabha. Javarna Jigyasta Atma Tattam. Sadhya says. Eh? As long as you have not inquired about this Atma Tattva. All your thoughts, everything is significant. Parabhata. Yeah? Um, it said that there's no material impediments in devotional service. Uh -huh. They said, it said that there's no material impediments. Uh -huh. <clears throat> but sometimes it appears that body, it, it appears with our service or it impedes with our service. Like, you know, so many problems. Uh, how this is body gets so much trouble. Yeah. So it Hunger is there, <clears throat> thirst is there, tiredness, sleepiness. Sickness is there. So many things. Huh? So is that a material impediment? This impediment, definitely. Is not impediment. But uh, uh, what said actually the body doesn't the Russian it doesn't depend on any material condition. Huh? That's what it said. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he is unchecked. 
because devotional service is done in spiritual platform, not in material platform. You understand? So, when you serve Krishna, Krishna is on spiritual platform, not in material platform. Isn't it? Unless you are elevated to that platform, how can you serve Krishna? So if, if if we're feeling like this impediment means material platform, so it's illusion. Yeah, material thing means illusion. It's illusory world. It's the manifestation of illusory energy. Huh? It's illusory world. Material world, illusory world. Huh? Manifestation of illusory energy. My asking. That's why. But we are in this metal platform, isn't it? We are not in spiritual platform. Eh? But when we come to accept Guru, Guru engages us in this service of God. Jupta Sarvaktansya, Nijunja Guru isn't it? It's Guru's business. He himself is engaged, and one who comes to him, Surrenders and accepts him. Mm-hmm. The guru. The guru accepts him. his disciple. He engages him in stopping our service, isn't it? Is that what it means? It said at the time of initiation, mm-hmm. the guru appropriates, the Krishna appropriates the disciple's body and transforms it in spiritual. Ah,你看，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，那个，
can hold it tightly, make some slackness, then fall down. How will it be? This is reciprocal, it's not one-sided. You understand? This is reciprocal. It's not only one-sided. No, I have nothing to do. No, Guru is responsible for everything. He will just take me and put me in there. It's not like that. You understand? So that is this. Sisati hum sadhinam kam prapannam. Of course, no prapannam, complete surrender. If you want to do that, then how will it be? Hmm? So if, if there is complete surrender, then the, the Krishna appropriates the body of that. Yeah. Make it spiritual. It gradually fit. turns into spiritual body. Mm. Let's go to Kama, go to. Ah, if you constantly engaged in Krishna's service, constantly, not even one moment is left. Mm -hmm. Constantly. Then gradually it transforms into a spiritual body. The example we give, if you just put a piece of iron constantly into fire, it becomes red. It becomes fire. If you touch it, it will burn you. Uh, constantly electric, uh, you see, power wave is flowing in this copper wire, which is it not electrified, it is not no longer electric, the copper wire is electrified, constant flow of electricity is there. If it does, it will suck. Similarly, this body is constantly engaged in Krishna's service. It is spiritual body, turns into spiritual body, no longer material. You understand? If that is not the case, then how will it be? The effect lies there. Hmm? In other words, we may say that if someone will mm, rise above this bodily conception of life, you understand? There is no bodily conception of life at all. It rise above this bodily conception of life. Eh? Then, no difficulty at all. No difficulty at all. This will never give you any trouble at that time. Yeah, there will be anything in this body, this middle body. There's no difficulty. You are not body, you are soul, spirit soul. As long as you have identified yourself with the body, trouble is there. Isn't it? Trouble is there. Bodily pain and pleasure affects you. Isn't it? When we are free from this bodily existence, then when the question arises, there is no question of pain and pleasure, bodily pain and pleasure, because you are not in bodily conception of life. You are above this. So this will never affect you. You are in the body of the consciousness, so therefore it affects you. Oh. <coughs> Isn't it? The trouble is like <coughs> Bhagavatam says in the 11th canto that in order to enjoy the material world, one has to identify with the body. Yeah. And as soon as we identify with the body, not all the pains, <laughs> no. Pain and you. pleasure. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You cannot have the pleasure without the pain. Pleasure also. That comes, yeah. That is there. <coughs> yeah. So much, uh, I thought it was the explanation, but speaking about the uh, dream and Bhakti Sutra. Mm. 
one one enemy's head belongs to Krishna, oh. and, it, and it's good. Down with spiritual master. Oh. In understanding that spiritual master must be that spiritual master must be very very uh, intimate associated with Krishna. That's but, our guru tattva. Yeah. Nikunjali uno rati kiri sinde. Nikunjali uno rati kiri sinde. Dada ni bhirjukta rati kiriya. Prasadi dakya. Rati balla hosya. Bande gurusti saranar vinda. This is in a guru pastava. Guru is like this. Guru in true sense of the term. I repeatedly say, when we speak Guru, Guru means in this car. You understand? Sakya Dhari Pleng. Sakya Dhari Pleng, Samastha Sastri. Everything is there. So my question now, mm-hmm. Guru Maharaj, is that, because it is said that uh, Kanishta Madhyam may accept, uh, Kanishta Madhyam may accept also, oh. he said, oh, oh. And unless he becomes in that platform, how can he? Bring down that Prima Bhakti Sutra. If it's not, it's simply not that platform, how can you bring down that Prima Bhakti Sutra? Cannot. Cannot. Then why is it said that even Kanishta or Madhyam can be Guru? They'll show you something, give you some directions. But they will also give Diksha. Yes, they may give, but how many? <laughs> Let them give, yeah. No, no help. But your responsibility is what you want. As you say, you want one rupee or fifty points, <laughs> sixty points, what do you want? What do you want? When you want fifty points, eh? they know accept him and they give him fifty points. Eh? He gave me fifty points, said, then what harm is that? You want that and you got it. That's all that. Then? <clears throat> That's why in Paris you said one time, the Kalibidas' place, when you approach Krishna and beg him you know, to send a representative, mm-hmm. first he send you someone. And if you say, oh no, Krishna, I want a real one. Mm-hmm. Then he said, wait, wait, then he sends a real one. Mm-hmm. What, um, what is the reason why someone gets a particular type of spiritual master at a different level? Is it desire or is it karma or is it is Krishna directly? I mean, what's the reason why someone gets an advance? There's no knowledge. Yeah, I, what you want, he know. He knows. So he provides. So sorry, man, he's there. So you want such thing, so you get. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, full surrender to the spiritual master. Hmm. If anyone has to say it is that like all oh, this material is I have a rich now. You must have a few to do it. What is this? Um to fully surrender to the spiritual master and Krishna, you, you have, must have all the material desires um, ripped out of your heart to do so. Uh, the only way to do that is to have a, a pure spiritual master. You see, that is not first thing. First thing, material desires are there. You see, you cannot completely eradicate it. No, it's very difficult. Jadustirjya. It's very difficult to give it up. Jijyato janu jijyate. Tantrasna dukkha nivahu sarma kama drudam te jeta. Ninth canto. Srimad Bhagavatam. Jajati Maharaj says this thing. Even an old man is going to die. He's on the threshold of death. You understand? He's just going to die. Still, there are so many little desires. He, he has not given that. It's very difficult to give it, give it up, this mental desire. Many, many lives, lots and lots of lives you have, all these things. You understand? 
lakhs of lakhs of lives. You are just revolving here in this cycle of birth and death, in this material world, undergoing so many species, lakhs of species of life, isn't it? And so, so many lives, lakhs of lives, you have these material diseases. These have become a chronic disease that Sinketan Maharaj says, it has become a chronic disease with you. Chronic disease. <laughs> Isn't it? How can you give it up so? It's really very hard. Bhagavatam says, the Adusthe is very difficult to give it up. But if you just associate with sadhus and hear all these things, understand these things, who are you? What's your real identity? Oh, I am Krishna Das. What to do? How are you? I, I, but till now I have become Maya Das. Isn't it? Tumar Chano Chari Hoilu Sarbona Das. Isn't it? Nija Tattva Dhani Ar Sonsara Nacha Hai. Kenova Bhujilu Maya Kore Hai Hai. And he knows who am I. Oh, I am Krishna Das. I am servant of Krishna. What I have done up till now? I not become servant of Krishna. Uh, become Maya Das, become servant of Maya. Uh -huh. Then, alas, what I have done, hi, hi, Kenova Bhujilu Maya, Kore, hi, hi. What I, why I have become Maya Das, alas, what I have done, you repent so much, you dash your head and you cry. You understand? Kende Bole, Ohe Krishna, Amitabha Das, Tumar Chorna Chari Huilu Sarbanas, Kende Bole. Crying, weeping, and said, Krishna, I am you. Your servant, but I have just oh, <coughs> neglected your lotus feet. I have not approached your lotus feet. I have been doomed completely. Now you are crying, crying, repenting so much. And Krishna in the heart knows this thing. When this thing will come to you, then you will really approach a guru and surrender himself. Do you understand? When fire will catch your head and head, what will you do? Where is water? Where is water? Where is water? Just learn. That is the situation. Do you understand? If you will be put in such a situation, then that's the real situation. Then you will approach a real guru and surrender. Otherwise, the surrender is not complete. Or is artificial or external, whatever it may be. We may say in that way. Isn't it? It's not real. Do you understand? When you completely surrender, that means now you have no independence. Your independence is now properly utilized by surrendering yourself. But if gurus say you will do that thing. Because I have surrendered to him. I have become his, his property. I have become his property. He can utilize me as he likes. There's nothing mine. Isn't it? Do you understand me? Then, that's real surrender. And as Guru likes, he'll utilize you. That means what Guru says, you have to do it. As it is, execute it, obey it. Nothing, no deliberation, no thinking, no something adding or subtracting, nothing, no speculation, nothing. What he says, just do. You understand? In other words, you may say, I am just an instrument on his hand. He may utilize me as he likes. Nimitta matra hosabdasati. That's real surrender. Hmm. Then Guru, when Guru engages you in Krishna's service, and that's Guru's business, He'll only engage you in Krishna's service. And you are constantly engaged, automatically. All this material 
desires are finished. No more. Uh -huh. The time you will feel also. It is very, what you say? Shallow. Shallow or very bitter to you. That's to be very bitter. You will no, no longer like it now. Hmm? The attachment. Now you are developing the attachment and you are gradually being attached to the now lot of spirit of Krishna and releasing hmm, the nectar coming out from his lot of spirit. Do you understand? <coughs> You understand? Then these material desires will go away. Otherwise, it's very difficult to give it up. Very difficult. Very, very difficult. Even, and we have that thing also, even <coughs> Jivan Muktas, they again put into bondage. If they commit offense, if they commit offense, they are also put into bondage. This case of Saubhari Muni, Vishwamitra Muni, they have become Jivan Muktas. How? Huh? They are again put into bondage. Because they committed offense. That is there. So Bharimuni committed offense at the petition of Garuda, the devotee. Hmm? They are devotee of Lord Vishnu. So, such an old man, you see. <laughs> so many hmm, years, hundreds and hundreds of years of sadhana he had. They are undergone. So many years he was in the inside the water. Eh? Still he was again put to bondage. Came out of the water. And so sexual horse is so great now in him. He came to the king Mandhata and asked to marry his daughter. Eh? This is old man, why the king's daughter will marry me? So he has so yogic, he has attained so much yogic perfection, yog siddhi, that he was turned into a very handsome young man, good looking. So fifty daughters of Mandhata, all accepted him as their husband. Married fifty daughters of Mandala, you see. Such is the case. So great this material desire. So difficult. Do you understand? Not an easy task. Mm -hmm. Only his mercy is required. That we say, Nityananda Prabhu's mercy. Kobe nitai chan der koruna huibi. Visho vasana mor kobe tu chohobe. Isn't it? Gopinath. Kobe nitai chan der koruna huibi. Visho vasana mor kobe tu chohobe. When that nitai chan der sour his mercy on me, that all my visho vasana, all my material desires will be finished, is completely destroyed. I will free from this thing. Unless you. Have it, how can it be? You cannot do it by your own effort. No. No. Bhaktivinoda Thakura says in his Gopinath, Haroje Menechi Ami. I have I have been defeated. Haroje Menechi Ami. I tried my best. So many times. But I cannot. Understand? Control my wicked mind. Manoji pagol mora na mane saso. My mind is 
मैड माइंड पागल पागल मन मन से पागल मर न माने सासो माइंड इज मैड माइंड विकेट माइंड दुष्ट मन मैड माइंड गोपीनाथ प्रभु गुरु कृपा गुरु कृपा प्लीज गुरु एंड गेट इज मर्सीबल वेरी डिफिकल्ट यू कैन डू बाई योर सेल्फ यू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ हर जो मैं साधु शास्त्र गुरु वाक्य Isn't it? Sadhu Sastra Guru Bhakti. But Sadhu says, but Sastra Siddhanta, but Sastra says, Guru says, develop faith. Isn't it? This first thing. Hmm. Then, then you understand who is Guru. Guru Tattva. Then comes Sadhu Sangha. That means Guru Padastra. Next thing. दीक्षा साधु मार्ग अनुगमन सदर्म पुच्छा इनक्वायरी लाइक दिस कम्स 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 हां यू अंडरस्टैंड ये दिस आर प्रोसेस अदरवाइज इफ यू ट्राई to control your mind and senses you cannot you cannot mm. therefore we say bhagavatam says 
हरि गुरु चरणोपासनास्त्र This is the weapon, how to control your mind, your mind. Hari Guru Charno Pasana Astra, Astra means weapon. Hari Guru Charno Pasana. Guru Pada Astra, complete surrender unto Guru. Guru's lotus feet, that's why Hari, Lord Hari, or Krishna's lotus feet. Then what Guru says, Guru says, do, don't do. Gives some do's and don't do's. Gives some instruction. You understand? And you... Follow it strictly as it is. No, Guru has said not to do this thing. Guru has said to do this thing. Do's and don't do this. And you should be very strict. No compromise, no middle path, nothing. Be very strict. Do and don't do this. Strictly follow the instruction of Guru. Thereby you will get the mercy of Guru. Then you will be able to control your mind and senses. Or in other words, mental desires will be no longer there. It will develop. Yeah. What is a attachment, test, yeah. huh? test for Krishna Katha. You understand? Ruchistata, Asati, Katha Asati, yesterday we were discussing that. You will develop test for it. Now that will become distaste for you. Metal things now will become distaste. It is. You will develop such test towards this thing and developing distaste for this. This will take place. You understand? Yes. This is our process. How we can do? You understood? Nrohri, you understood? Yes. That you are not doing so. So many metal desires you have. Huh? And you are very much attached to it. I am defeated, but... Yes. Okay. Completely defeated. And after sleeping during evening time here, when I came, I said, sleep. What is this nonsense? <laughs> sleeping during evening time here? <laughs> this proof. Don't do it. You understand? Be very careful. Haraiwe paramartha dhano, kena haraiwe? Why lose this asset, spiritual asset, so valuable, invaluable? Huh? Why you lose such a thing? Such a fool, rascal? Huh? You lose such an invaluable asset? Such rascal? Why such a thing? Huh? Why such thing? Why such rascal It breaks. Yeah. You should understand this thing. You should keep it very carefully. Don't lose that any circumstances. Arrive a paramartha dhan. Keno arrive? Why lose this thing? Such an invaluable asset. Spiritual asset. Then, why will serve high? Kyanava Achoy Pran? Kishu ko lagi ha? Narottam Dasa ke na nage lo mariya? Narottam Dasa Thakur says, It's better to die. For what purpose, for what happiness and pleasure I will survive? Kyanava Achoy Pran? Kishu ko lagi ha? Narottam Dasa ke na nage lo mariya? For what? Happiness for all places. Nathundas Thakur, shall I survive? It's better to die. If I lose my this invariable asset. Huh? You understand? Well, what should I do? Because I have not tasted at all. Try my best, maybe wrong way. I can't taste anything, so 
don't know what to do. Very it should be very serious. Your spiritual attainment. Uh -huh. You are not serious. I'm trying. It should be serious. Do you understand? Otherwise, how can you get it? My Guru Maharaj says, take it seriously. This is serious students. Do you understand? No hurry. Huh? Be serious. Don't be so superfluous. All right? Hence, for what I think you'll be serious. All right? You show your message. I don't know how to be serious. I don't know. Are you serious? <laughs> Why are you so poor? You don't know how to be serious? <laughs> Such a fool. Hmm? Yes. Karma Bandha Pamsa. Malaya language. Karma Bandha Pamsa. So? Yeah. Maharaj, last night I was reading in the teachings of Lord Chaitanya. Prabhupada said uh, in one page, he said, devotees should not read mundane literature or fictionary writings. No. But there is no injunction that one is not allowed to listen to mundane news, like newspaper. I was surprised to read that. Can you maybe give an explanation? You of are it? a fool. No. <laughs> Mundane literature. So, the newspaper also comes under literature while you read it. That's what I was surprised. In the same sentence, he said, but there's no injunction that one should not. There's no injunction that one is not allowed to listen to Monday news. Yeah. In other words, he said, one thing he says, uh, do not read mundane books or fictionary literature, but sometimes you can listen to news or read newspaper. I was, I didn't know how to understand this. No, soon not. Soon not. Soon not. Why? I don't know. I have to bring the book. Maybe it's No, I can't out. understand what the need of bringing book. I say no. Hmm. That includes that thing. Yes, that includes. Gramya katha na sunnive. Gramya bharta na bolive. Isn't it? Instruction to Raghunathas Goswami. Yes. Don't tell, don't speak about Gramya katha. This mundane things, metal things, things related to metal. So I meant, like this, politics, or something like that. Na sunive, don't hear, don't speak. Do you understand? One who is very strict, sannyasi or brahmachari. This is instruction for him. Do you understand? Strict sannyasi or brahmachari. But one is a grosso, he may sometimes hear or do like that. He's a grosso. He follows. He follows. <laughs> He's a uh, He has been given some concession. Us, all right. Test this dilly color, do. <laughs> That's why he said that in Griyasta Ashram, usually advancement is practically nil. Probably yeah. right, like that. Yeah. Yes. 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 life is very good life. You understand? life is very good life. So then we but if you become a real Gloucester, then you will become greater than a sinners. A real Gloucester. You understand? Not gloomy. Yes. 
So at any time, any moment, you can leave it. No attachment, only you have attachment towards Krishna. Antra Nishtha Bhaya Loka Vivahar. That's Mahaprabhu's instruction. Parvastas. Jutta Bhairagya. Antra Nishtha Bhaya Loka Vivahar. In your heart, you are only attached to Krishna. Other attachment. But outwardly, you pose as if you are very much attached to your wife, your family, your children, your home. is very much attached. And they cannot understand that you are completely detached now. They should not. They should not give any chance to know this thing. At all. Repeat that last sentence? Yes. <laughs> Chance and opportunity to know that you are not attached to them. You are only attached to Krishna. You should not give such chance to them. They will think, oh, my husband is very much attached to me. He likes me so much. He never likes Krishna. I like so much. Then, Stu? You want for devotees? Devotees. One who is a devotee has no problem at all. Devotee is only attached to Krishna. You understand? Why is there a problem? If husband is a devotee and a wife is a devotee, eh, then their only business is to serve Krishna and give pleasure to Krishna, not to their own pleasure. Krishna Dasa and Krishna Dasi. You understand? It's <coughs> Krishna Dasa and Krishna Dasi. And they will engage all their senses in Krishna's service for giving pleasure to Krishna, not for them. Their only attachment is for Krishna only. You understand? <coughs> oh, where is such person? He is a rare person. He is a rare person. You understand? We have so many weaknesses. Weakness, we are weak fellows. Nogri Pramadanam, Gurutakrum, Vashamu Puman. Kapaladev says, Pramada, woman, is fire pot, and man is ghee pot. Fire pot and ghee pot will be placed close together. It's the natural, the ghee will be melted. But if you can remain unmelted, then you are real grasta. Otherwise, how can you become grasta? Jantakrut. Then? Are they Godasa? Yes, Godas. And Mahaprabhu said, why Ramananda was Grasta? Because he's greater than a sannyasi. Greater than a sannyasi. Mahaprabhu said that thing to whom? Pradyumna Mishra. Isn't it? Pradyumna Mishra. He sent Pradyumna Mishra to Rai Ramananda. Huh? In Jagannath Puri, you see, there is Jagannath Balab garden is there. Pala Ramananda was living there and was giving training to this uh, dancing girls. You understand? Young girls, they will perform dance people like Jagannath. He has uh, written a drama, Jagannath Balab and Artava. Was written and he was given training. Do you understand? He had met them seated on his lap and just being in their naked huh? body with his hands. He was just, that body would be nice looking, performing a nice dance. Do you understand? Then, the Lord Jagannath will be pleased. Why shall we perform dance, drama? 
his pardon, his pleasure, Lord's pleasure, his professional means is sinful activity, Papa Bihavari. You understand? And Vaishnava performs dance drama, it is for his pleasure. He is not perfect professional. You understand? So he was personally giving training, and Padivana Mishra saw this thing. He thought of, what is this? It's so much attached to women, young girls. And Mahaprabhu sent me to such a person. He just only thought of in his mind and returned. And Mahaprabhu is supreme personality because he knows the heart, who is in the heart. Then just try to, what do you say? He is more than high. I am a sannyasi, still I see a woman, my mind is agitated, but he is not so. He is more than a sannyasi. He is healthy. He is such a grasta. So where is such a grasta? Tell him. Huh? Is there any such grasta? Same with Pundari. Pundari can be Janiti also. Yeah, yeah. One gathered gather up from this. Pundari with Janiti. No, no, he has Ching Pan, you see. Outwardly you cannot understand him. You, any layman can think, was a bogey. If he saw a bogey, he is up to metal enjoyment. You understand? Putting on nice clothes, very valuable, shining, glazing, putting on so many rings and all his fingers, chewing palm, the spitting, and that pot, content spitting, it's made up of gold. Ashto dhatu or no dhatu like that, very valuable. Uh -huh. And sitting on a very nice cushion. You understand? It's like a bhogi. Outwardly, what is great devotee, Mahabharata. Hmm. That means you are cheating, Prabhupada. You are cheating. You are cheating. Sadhu has two things, Krupa, Bunjana. Mercy and cheating also. Two things. You understand? And he was doing that. Thank you. <laughs> Mukunda Datta had taken Gadasa Pandit to him. Madhavi Pandit thought of this thing in his mind. Mukunda Datta could understand this thing. So immediately he uttered that verse from Srimad Aho Bhakita Stanaka Zingasya Yasadvi Levigati Datriti Tang Kambadayaru Saranamgadam. Just quoted this verse immediately. As soon as he heard this thing, I will say, Pundarik Vidyanadi, he became ecstatic. And it rolled on the ground, kicking up all cushion, all the spitting part, everything. Steady tears of holy, such a stage. It was inside him, just rose up. And then Gadadhar Pandit could understand how he is really, so I have committed an offense. How can I be free from such offense, for your sins, unless I be? Punished by him. So I'll become his disciple, inflict punishment on me, so I'll be free from that. So he becomes his disciple. Yes,